If any Zero fighters ever reach the shores of New Zealand, it's going to be zero hour for them when these men get to work. Even high flying won't save them. This AK -AC crew with its mobile gun does not have to wait till the enemy comes within range. It goes to meet him. But whether these high ceiling guns are mobile or fixed, the crews have to work fast. There can be no dawdling in an engagement that only lasts 30 seconds. Rangefinders and predictors soon have both bombers and fighters taped. The only place where they're safe is in the stratosphere. But should they come down low, then the Bofors goes into action. This mobile quick-firing gun, when low-flying aircraft are about, is almost as handy as a shotgun on the 1st of May. And the men who fire them know how to use them. They are already getting short of targets. Tank fighters must be good shots too. So at the training schools, tank crews are put through an intensive course. The idea of this gunnery trainer was borrowed from the Navy. Its rolling and rocking simulate the lurching of a traveling tank. While it sways about, the gunner has to find his target. These model tanks give the gunner an idea of the size and speed of his objective. But to start with, he concentrates on a stationary target. And that's a good beginning. An Arab can understand shooting, but the workings of the New Zealand survey battery are a bit of a mystery to him. He doesn't worry the surveyors. They have become used to the stairs from Aden to Cyprus. But this is the first time they have been so low down in the world. But that's not going to worry them today as they set off for the race course. Not altogether a second Ellerslie, but if there's no tote, it won't be missed. Picking winners from these is certainly a gamble, but when it comes to horse flesh, New Zealanders are more at home. It's fun for the riders, and it's fun for the backers. And for everybody, it's a grand relaxation from theodolite reading and map making. And the boys are very grateful to the Arab legionnaires for the loan of their fine horses. Yes, the donkeys have had bad news. They're down for the next race. It's only 30 yards. Well, you try running 30 yards with a hefty New Zealander on your back. <laughs>